Hello fellow book lovers, my name is Giselle and welcome to The Adventures of Jizz. Today's video is my reading rush TBR and I'm so excited to be doing this because my first booktube video ever was my reading rush TBR for 2019. So this just feels very nostalgic for me and I'm really excited. Let me get into my actual TBR. The first prompt is read a book that matches the color of your birthstone. I was born May the 26th, so I am Emerald. And for this, I have chosen two possible books, and it is these two. So first we have Graceling. In Graceling, we follow a courtly lady. She also happens to have a grace, which is this magical ability, and her grace is specifically for killing. This is Assassiny. It's an old YA book, but it is one of the classics, and I have heard so many people tell me I will love this. I read the first chapter for the first chapter challenge. I'm so excited to have this on my TBR because I definitely want to be getting to it this month anyway, and because it is this dark green on top, I thought it would fit perfectly with this specific reading rush prompt. Then the other book I have that is emerald green-ish is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Mass. I have already started it, I will probably finish it the week of Reading Rush, but it is a big book so it's okay if I cheat just a little bit. The second prompt is read a book that starts with the word the. And for this I chose the book of the month for the book club that I ho host over at Instagram with some friends. It is called Topping the TBR and this month we are going to be reading The Starless Sea by Erin Morganston. I have heard amazing things, the reviews for this book have been so fantastic and I'm really excited to be reading this with my friends for our book club this month. Next up we have read a book that inspired a movie you've seen and I have watched almost every single young adult style movie out there so it was not difficult to find a book that inspired a movie. However, I have read most of them already. So any of these will probably be rereads for me, which is completely okay because I love a good reread. I always give myself options when it comes to a TBR and I chose these three books as my options. So first up we have Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. I actually recently rewatched this movie and I just, yes, it's trashy, but I don't care. I love it. I'm so excited for the Disney Plus TV series to come out. This is a quick read. It is funny. It is fantastic. I feel like this is a good time to go back and just read some of my old favorites. Then we have uh, <laughs> I Am Number Four, and this is a series I absolutely was obsessed with when I first read it, and I can't believe I never finished it. The first book is such a quick read, and I still to this day love that very terrible movie they made. I just <laughs> watch it for fun. It's one of my feel-good movies. I don't even care because this book is actually really good. I really enjoyed it. I also love the main side character Sam. I just remember clearly loving these books so much and I'd love to reread them to see if I still love them as much as I did when I first read them. Then lastly we have Blood Promise which is the fourth book in the Vampire Academy series and only the first one was ever made into a movie, however the series inspired the movie so I feel like this isn't cheating. I love Vampire Academy, I started doing a reread in May and I haven't read the fourth book yet. These are really fast reads, they're fantastic books, I still to this day I think I have reread them four times. I love the plot, they are surprisingly amazing, they have so many twists and turns and I adore the main character Rose Hathaway. The next prompt is read a book you first touch. This was kind of open to interpretation so what I did was I wrote a bunch of books on my TBR down on some papers and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shake this around and pick one of them, the first one that my fingers touch. So that is going to determine which book I read for this specific prompt. And the book is, let me take this one here, The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski and I'm so excited to read this because I really wanted to read it this month and this is the perfect excuse. It is this book over here, it looks stunning, I have heard so many great things about it. In this we follow Kestrel and she is the daughter of the general of this war-hungry empire. I will read it directly from the back because I can't really explain this book very well. It says, as a general's daughter in a vast empire that revels in war and enslaves those it captures, Kestrel has two choices. She can join the military or get married, but Kestrel has other ideas. I like that. 
that sounds really fun. I'm so excited for this. I read the first chapter and it sounded amazing. I'm so glad this got chosen to be part of my TBR. And the next prompt is read a book not at home. This is really difficult, especially because in South Africa we are still technically on lockdown. It is also the middle of winter, so it is freezing cold outside. I think the easiest way for me to get through this will be to listen to an audiobook whilst I'm au pairing, and I will definitely try and do that. I will choose a really short audiobook. So hopefully that works out. If it doesn't, it's okay, I tried, but I think this is probably a very impossible prompt for me to fulfill, but I'm going to try, and even if I don't do it, it's okay. Next up is read a genre that you want to read more of, and for this I have Nine's House by Lee Bardugo, and this is an adult magical realism fantasy story, and I definitely want to read more adult fantasy. I've heard so many things about it, and I've heard I'd really love it. I definitely want to read more adult fantasy books and this is definitely in a genre I want to read more of. I'm just very, very scared of reading adult fantasy books because they're a little bit intimidating. So I thought this would be a good segue to get into that genre and yeah, it's in a genre I want to read more of. So there we go. Next one. And the last question slash prompt is read a book not set in your continent. This is really super easy because I live in South Africa. Luckily for me, one of the other books on my TBR is already set in America, and that is Ninth House by Libra Dugos. And it's not a contemporary, so I know I will probably read it. This is set in Yale in America, so Ninth House is on two of my prompts for my TBR, which means I have to read it. I have not been reading that much, and I definitely still want to participate in the reading rush, so even if I do double up and read maybe three to four books throughout the seven days, I think I will still be really, really happy with participating and loving all of these amazing books that I've chosen. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I will link all of the Reading Rush socials in my description bar down below, so don't forget to go and check those out if you want to join in the Reading Rush. I'm so excited. I hope you join in. I hope you have a fantastic day and a great, great week.